What's going on Rovers? It's Mr. Shalott back with the video on multi-view drawing. I'm going to go through step-by-step -step of today's uh, demo that we're doing here in class. All right, so when we look at our drawing here, switch over with my pen, we have to determine how big of a box, just like every other drawing that we do, we always put everything inside of a box. We need to determine how big this box is going to be. The width of our box is going to be seven and the height up to here, we get that information from here. So the height of our box is going to be five. On our paper, I'm going to start in the lower left-hand corner. I'm gonna put my first dot down, okay? Once I have that dot down, I'm gonna go ahead and come up the five blocks on the height. So one, two, three, four, five. From my original dot, I'm going to come over Okay, we determined that that was seven, all right? So from my original dot here, I'm gonna come over seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then the height we determined was five. So as you can see on here, I have four dots on my page. Go ahead and lightly make a construction box out of those lines, okay? Again, you can pause, rewind, do what you need to do to the video. All right. These lines that you just put on there should be super light. I am doing mine in pen, so they show up in the video. Yours should not be dark. You should barely be able to see them on your page when you're drawing, okay? From there, we need to leave some space. We're gonna leave some space between our drawings here. I like to leave one inch Okay, so I'm going to leave four boxes. Each one of these boxes is a quarter of an inch. So I'm going to come over one, two, three, four, make my next mark. Okay, one, two, three, four. All right, and do that top and bottom. So we've already determined our front view is five by seven. Now we have to look at our right side view. Well, the good thing is we already know the height. So the height, we have determined we've shared that information over. So we got to that point. All right. What we can do is we can project that line over. We don't know how far we need it, but you know, with a ruler or anything that you have that straight side of a notebook, whatever, I'm gonna project that line over in this direction. And I'm gonna project this line over here in this direction, okay? So we've already determined These are our projection lines so far. Again, I'm doing everything light. You don't, and nothing should be dark at this point, all right? Now, looking at our right side view, we need to determine how far over does this shape come? So from here to here, how far over does it go? Well, looking at it, it tells us the width of this shape is five, okay? So if we're determining that from this point, I'm going to count over, let me slide this up so you can see. From this point, I'm gonna count over one, two, three, four, five, okay? So one, two, three, four, five. Once I have that marked, I can go ahead and, again, on your page, you're not doing this in pen, everything's nice and light. So we can see our drawing starting to form here. We have our front view, we have our right side view. Let's talk about our top view, okay? How do we get that information up to there? Well, we have to use the information that we have from here and here, okay? the information that we have here, to draw up top, okay? So to do that, we're going to, again, leave our space. We want to leave four blocks in between, all right? So we're going to go one, two, three, four. Leave us some space. We can go ahead and project that across. All right. So look at what I have. There's my four block space. I'm going to project my vertical lines up in this direction. I don't know how high, but I'm gonna project them up in that direction. So from here, I'll project up, okay? And then from over here, I project up. I don't know how high I'm gonna need, but I know it's up there somewhere, okay? My top view is starting up here. These are all light construction lines on your page, okay? I'm drawing in red. My, my object lines will be in black. I'll darken those in with black. All right, so if you bring this line across and this line up where those two meet are projection lines. So let me extend those a little bit. 
This one comes in this direction. This one comes in this direction. Right where those two cross is where we're going to get our orthographic projection line. Now our orthographic projection line is a light line that is drawn at 45 degrees and it goes through each individual block. So to do so, from here I'm going to go corner to corner and I'm going to continue to split these blocks in half, okay? As you can see, I'm going through the middle, through the middle, through the middle, each block, and I'm just going to keep doing that, extending that out like so, all right? How far do I go? Well, in this scenario, you're going to take your right side view here, bring that line up, and it's going to cross at a point. So I'll go ahead and start bringing that line up. Right where those intersect, we are going to project to the left over in this direction, okay? That's going to be our projection line. So from that spot, I'm going to go over in this direction, okay? And I apologize, my lines might not be 100% straight because I'm not using a, a ruler or some kind of straight edge, all right? But if we look, we now have our three boxes. We have our front, we have our right, and our top. That's where our three drawings are going to end up. Looking at this, the overall width should be seven blocks, and the overall depth from here to there, okay, from this edge to there, should be a total of five, okay? So looking at our drawing, if we count up, from here it goes up five and it goes over seven. So this is the right size box. Everything we draw now is going to fit within here. Let's start with our front view. Our front view has an L, okay? So if I wanna draw that L in, it's telling me on this drawing I need to come over two blocks and on this one I need to come up two blocks. So I'm gonna go over two, project that down, bring that up, okay, two and two. As you can see, the L is starting to form, all right? I went over two blocks, I went up two blocks, and I projected those out. Now, with these lines, I know that this line and this line can help me when I draw my top view and my right side view. So I'm gonna bring those lines across. I'm just gonna keep on drawing that line over to here, and that line up to there, okay? So those lines will help us eventually. We don't know how, but they're going to eventually. All right, I can go ahead and start and darken things in because now I'm starting to see my front view. So I'll go ahead and darken things in just so they show up better on camera for you. Your line should not be this dark. This is just for the camera so you can see the red and the black. Okay. So I have those nice thick lines. As you can see on my drawing here, I'll hold it up closer. All right, our front view is starting to form. Let's shift gears now. We're gonna shift over here to the right side view. Okay, so when we go to draw this right side view, which is gonna fit within this box, all right, looking at the bottom of it, we have a square, a rectangle, and a square. So that's gonna fit here in this area because we projected this line across. So I need to divide this up evenly. What they're telling us, okay, how big are these? We can't get that information because they don't have it here. But if we look up top, they are telling us those numbers. So they're saying from here to here is two, and then that little space in between there is gonna be one. So let's make some marks, all right? Here on the drawing, it comes over two. So I'll make a mark, then come over one. And now I have my two boxes. All right, two boxes are finished. I can go ahead and sketch those in. All right, and then we could darken them in. So we come back over, and now I'm going to come over with my black pen and darken in those lines. Like so. All right. So we're starting to see that right side view. We're looking at the drawing there. We see those boxes. All right, that's our multi view starting to form. All right, that information is going to get shared. So we're going to take those lines 
we're going to share that up through that 45 degree projection line all right so i'll pull this line up to here pull this line up to there okay so what i've done i brought this up brought this up right where they cross over they need to go in this direction so i'm going to bring them over all right like that okay so we know we we're gonna need them okay so when we look at this drawing the top view has this C here those lines are gonna help us draw that C but we're not there yet well, let's continue to focus over here on our right side view our right side view when we're looking at this shape we have this castle piece okay what looks like a U okay we need to be able to draw these all right and what they're telling us the dimensions that this thing comes over one block so on each side it's one block and then it comes down this distance they don't give us that number but we can subtract these two and that's going to tell us one so on our drawing from the corner you're going to go over one block and down one block over one block and down one block that will give you the castle and then you can go ahead and darken it in. Like so. All right, looking good. Again, we want to project those lines. So this line I'm going to bring up from that corner. And then we now have this line. I'm going to bring that up. Everything gets projected because it's going to help us draw. Okay, well, where do these end up in our top view? Well, they're over here on top of the drawing, okay? So we're looking up here. Now that I've projected these lines up and over, they're going to end up, if I bring that across, that tells me where that line is and that line is. And I got those off of projecting those across see all these projection lines we have they all help you draw the other lines okay so we can start darkening our top view the parts we see okay just like that we have that part of our drawing we can see this part of our drawing all right darken that in the only thing we don't know yet is yeah I'll teach it right now um, the only thing we don't know yet is how far back does that C come so when we're looking at this we got to look at our drawing and determine how far back does that come well they tell us here on the drawing that from here to here is four well if we know the overall is seven that distance is three so on our drawing, we're going to come over, okay, one, two, three, one, two, three, all right, make our mark, and now we have our C, okay, now we have our C. So there's our top view, all right? Now, the only thing we haven't done yet is those hidden lines that I discussed in the earlier video, okay? Where do those come from? Well, we project everything, so over here... This line, this corner, we have to project that over. That's where that line's coming from. And then from our top, we didn't project this line down. We bring that down. That's where that hidden line's gonna show. Okay, so whenever you have a line that you can't necessarily see, that's where it's gonna be. Now, for these hidden lines, they are evenly dashed lines. Okay, I'll draw some here on the page. They are all the same length, okay? All the same length and they have to start and stop on your object lines so when I go to do that here all right I'm going to go one two three they have to start and stop on the object lines same thing here I'm going to project this across the hidden line right there one two three start and stop on the object lines this is the drawing you should have in your notebook okay I want you to go through the steps, try this out, 
and do this particular drawing. Send it to me today before the end of class. I want to see where you're at. Thank you.